Amigos, what's up? Welcome back. Here you are. We're going to show you how to pull weeds from rocks, you know, and you see piles quickly gathering up and that's what you do first. First you go ahead and you see all the weeds we pulled and then you see the piles there. So we pulled everything and then we quickly go to the last step, which is mostly the most important. You know, we hate doing this, but this is what we have to do the first time we get here in order to make sure that all the weeds are pulled and that they won't come back. You can see very small ones and small ones when we pull the biggest ones, the small ones will come right back the next week and it'll look like you never did anything and I had many experiences like that where I left one day and I made sure that there was no weed but a week later in rain season it looks like you weren't even there so make sure you guys do something like this spray I wait to spray until it's a little hotter right now if it's gonna rain again all weekend we're gonna have to spray again later so let's get it done guys check out the back of this yard all right, Pella, so this is our second time here. You can see Diego's shoes right there. He came out here and helped us. You saw him in the hyper labs. But this is going to be a potential area ready for DG. She wants it to be nice and smooth instead of it has a little valley created through there. We're going to make sure that it's nice and leveled next time. You guys saw us in the hyper labs here. Me and Joel, one of our workers that has been helping us this year, which we plan to give him more work as long as we keep getting these jobs. So as we progress in finishing these jobs as fast as we can, you guys get to see shoes here around all the time. So there you see he was able to pull all these pushes out and they look great you know so there you see us again in the hyper lashes here where you see us work fast you know he was able to get the level up top by the tree where we're going to be able to get these things done and then you see me jump where the stairs are right here and we start getting continuing the areas that we're supposed to be doing you know it was easier to walk up and down as we continue to progress and we're going to be here showing up every day that we said we were going to be here we're going to have a little bit of rain but it's better when it rains you know it's a little softer you see the sprinklers turn on but that's how it works fellas well, sometimes things happen and you can see the worker wait a little bit but there we go thanks for watching we'll continue to work on how it looks and what we're progressing on let's go Amigos, what's up? We're back. There you have it. We were pulling all the weeds from the rocks and now we went ahead and did the steps on the hillside. So things got a little hard. Things, you know, big rocks in between. As always, Paola doing a great job going in front of me, making sure that things got a little easier as I progressed. But we saw a lot of rocks coming now and look at these steps now. You know, we're able to walk down and pretty soon we're going to show you how we walk up. Those are all the essential tools that we need. Some of these tools cost me as much as $50 a shovel, but you know, if it's going to pay for itself, we clean that area too. Any tool that you need for the job you have to buy it's just that simple you want to progress fast you don't have to pay a worker when you can buy the right tool you know so I wish we could buy a mower but you guys see out here there is no chance with all the homes they have HOAs where they build the homes already with rocks in the front so this house is set with maybe a whole community full of houses with only rocks thanks fellas Amigos, welcome back. Here you see us. This is a still stater brothers. This is an area we don't take care of, but we get in trouble for it every three months. They keep asking us, why don't you take care of that area? Because it's not ours. You can see the difference in the blacktop right here. And this is where we came hedging. You know, I, I love hedging, but at the same time, it's kind of tiring. We had a great day today. You can see all the weeds right here. You know, we went ahead and just walked around and pulled them. It was kind of windy, so even holding the camera was a little task in itself. So you see all these weeds and it's kind of harder as people walk through the planters and then they start like growing as people step on them. So it's a little harder to pull because the weeds get bigger and harder as they're just laying on the floor. 
there you know you have to pick around them and move the rocks you can see the rocks all outside and we come by blow or we rake around there pick up all the papers and just take care of the areas you know sometimes we help the, the cars other times we don't so this is an area that we usually don't take care of and then here we go this is another big bush that we hedged it was already this size it was maybe a, a bit bigger back then but it's okay we get it done you know we go ahead and then we go to the back and as you guys see we're here three times a week there's trash everywhere every time with the virus you know there's still gloves the vendors everyone you know no more diapers out here they closed Hobby Lobby so no diapers over there for right now we will contact Hobby Lobby, ask them if they're open for now. We'll keep coming to Stater Brothers. We'll, we'll hopefully double up, make sure that everything looks great. And then we'll just see that, you know, we come here, pull all the weeds. We're going to be weed spraying and just taking care of things. You know, we are, like always say, we come here three times a week. We blow the parking lot. We take care of the trash enclosure. And sometimes we help with big papers, areas that we don't even take care of. We go ahead and take care of sometimes. So thanks as always for watching all these videos, you know. Hope you guys enjoy them. We're going to go into a quick video my son Diego weed whacking he was out here all week um, short story you guys know him you know you don't see him much we only see him every two weeks but that's for another video as we progress in this I'll take you guys to the ending and this is where we did the steps again please follow through watch a couple of these other videos and we'll go from there you guys have a great weekend hey you see amigos